Chinchilla fans, what is up? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. We've got Asher out of the cage here today, hanging out, playing in the playpen, and today we are going to be making you a video about handling, petting, holding, basically handling a chinchilla, if you wanted to put it into a quick summary. So, that is what we are covering next, and we're starting right now. Guys, what is up? Like I said, welcome back to the channel, the channel specifically designed for new or current chinchilla owners to learn the ins and outs of this pet and learn how to take care of them in the best fashion possible. So, if you need or enjoy that type of comment, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that notification button so you're notified of new videos in the future. And give us a thumbs up, mainly because I'm asking you to, but also because it helps these videos reach other chinchilla owners on YouTube. So it helps us out greatly. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this video about my tips about handling a chinchilla, holding them, petting them, what you should do with your chinchilla in general, and how to do it in the safest and best fashion possible while not losing trust and building a bond with your chinchilla. So guys, as you can probably see right now, Asher has been increasingly building more trust with me, getting more comfortable with me in general. So now that that is the case, I feel more comfortable making a video with Asher about handling a chinchilla, holding them, petting them, cuddling them, whatever you want to call it. She is literally, I'm using one of those Joby like gorilla pods that has like three handles on it. And she literally was just climbing it to where she was like sitting in the spot that holds your iPhone. It was kind of crazy. Um, but anyways, guys, let's dive into some of this. And the number one thing I want to talk about first is, <laughs> geez, what you're seeing right now is the product of a few weeks that have already taken place. She's been out of the cage. Um, let's see. So it's been about three weeks ish. Hopefully I'm relatively accurate with that, but which means she's been out of the cage probably, you know, 12 to 15 times already. She's been in this playpen with me. She's had a couple of times with my son and my wife. She just bit my finger in a nice way. I'm not bleeding or anything crazy. Um, man, she just made me lose track of my thought there. But anyway, so this spunkiness, this attitude, this comfortableness with what she's doing this is not you know an out-of-the-box scenario this is not what you get you know the day that you adopt a chinchilla sometimes maybe I'm lying I don't know because she was she was pretty crazy the first day we got home honestly sometimes you get lucky um, I'm not gonna lie about that and sometimes it takes more time and then sometimes a chinchilla just doesn't like to be handled even if you've owned them for five to whatever Hopefully you're understanding my point here is that it's a random draw which controls a lot of the time. Sure, you can do your best to, you know, speak to a breeder, find as social of a chinchilla as possible. Those are real things that you can do and it does work. But let's think about this for a second, guys. For the most part, every chinchilla is going to A, a different house, B, a different owner, C, a completely different environment, and D, mostly most likely from a different breeder, family, parents. The whole nine yards here. So the scenarios can vary. She's trying to crawl up my neck and get out of here. So the scenarios can vary so greatly that it's very hard to put a broad statement on how to do certain things with these guys, which handling is one of those things. So I'm going to try and be as broad as possible to help as many of you as possible about how to do certain things with chinchillas. If you need to, you can drop me a comment to ask specific questions in the comments down below, but keep in mind that for a lot of this, it's gonna be trial and error, building a bond, and case by case situation. So the number one thing I can tell you is that the time out of the cage with you, the time in the cage near you, and any relationship interaction effort that you put in is going to help increase everything when it comes to this topic. Anything you can do is going to make them more comfortable. They need time to adjust. So that is my number one tip with this, is give them time. Be patient, just get them out of the cage, get one of these play bins, like you see me using right here. This is the Jess Pet, 61 inch. I probably mention this at least every other video. I'm sorry that I do that, but that's how much I believe in this play pen and how beneficial it can be for you to give them a safe chinchilla proofed area. I guess if you're tired of hearing it, then I mean, skip those portions of the videos. I don't know what to tell you, but that is my first 
biggest, most significant recommendation is get some close interaction time. Leave them alone kind of deal in the beginning. Like let them jump on your lap. Don't go pawing at them. Let them get on your shoulder. Let them come to your hand to get a treat. Don't push towards them. Let them push into you. Hopefully that makes sense because now once that's over and they start doing like what you see her doing, I mean, it's still not perfect. She's trying to escape. Did she escape? Poop. Where's my chinchilla? <sighs> she did not escape. That would have sucked because I have like four other doors open. So that would have been what we call a wild goose chase, chinchilla chase. I don't know. But anyways, get going on that. Again, don't push towards, let them come to you in the beginning. Which, the number one way to do that guys, tip number two is the playpen, again. So, if you're in a big room, let me try and get up here. This is my basement here. I don't know how good of footage I'm getting right now because I'm just lifting my arm up into the air. Clearly it's not a huge room by any means, but it's bigger than this playpen. I'm not saying you have to make your chinchillas play space only the size of this playpen. But I am saying that in the beginning, if you make it huge, it's going to be a lot easier for them to scatter off away from you instead of interacting with you. So maybe at least in the beginning, consider some kind of gated or closed off area because if they're scared of you in the beginning and they have a ton of space, what do you think that they're going to do? They're probably going to find some space away from you. But if they're scared of you in the beginning and they don't have that option, of playing and running around away from you, what do you think that they're going to do? They're probably going to start interacting with you a little bit quicker, so that's going to help you be able to pet them, interact with them, and do things with them a little bit faster because you've closed that interaction gap or space to where they're more comfortable with you. It's basically, in a nutshell, you created a situation where they don't have a choice. They have to you know, like it or deal with it kind of deal. All right, next guys, I would say to go ahead and move into the petting phase, but understand if your chinchilla is liking it or not. Try and start, you know, petting them if you want to. Try and start doing things with them. You know, don't go in there, you know, guns blazing on them. Don't, you know, just, you know, push hard and both hands on them and go crazy with it, but start touching and interacting with them in that fashion to where they're getting you know, socialize to touch and handling. You can start, I mean, it doesn't, she's just crazy, man. You're making me look like an idiot today, Asher. But yeah, guys, start petting them, start interacting with them, and slowly get to the point where you can start picking them up. Especially, you need to be able to pick them up, you know, primarily because even if they don't like being held, you need the ability to get them like in and out of the cage, especially if they need to go to a vet or, you know, if you need to transfer them to a safe area of the house for playtime when it's that time of the day. But get to that point to where they're at least able to deal with it. <laughs> you guys seen this? Even if they don't necessarily like it. It's okay if they don't like being held. You need to be okay with that too. There's some chinchillas that that is going to be the fortune that you are dealt. Be okay with that. But then reach a point to where in those emergency situations you can interact and hold them if need be. And my last tip guys for you when it comes to this interaction, bonding, cuddling, handling is keep at it. Keep trying to increase the relationship, the trust, and the bond. Because eventually, you know, everything adds up. Sometimes the efforts, everything adds up. So sometimes the effort in the beginning may seem like it's not yielding that many results, but think of how long these guys live and how that can compound the results. I mean, if you're going 10 to 15 years or more with a chinchilla in the first three months they're like oh i still hate it there's probably a good chance that several months a year a couple years five years down the road that that is going to be a completely different story for you so don't get discouraged keep at it don't let a few interactions where they seem very scared dictate how you handle them in the future my previous chinchilla before asher here it took uh, several months before she was real comfortable doing a lot of things and she came around it, it did take that time 
it did take that time to get her to that point, but she got there. But we kept at it, we kept getting her out, we kept trying, and that's what happened. So keep at it. And let us know in the comments what you do with your chinchilla specifically to increase your bond. Do you do something different than what I've mentioned in this video? Do you have any other recommendations? Let us know by dropping a comment down below. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give us that thumbs up, because again, those thumbs up help us dramatically get seen by other chinchilla owners. Hit that notification button so you're notified in the future for new videos. And please head over to planetchinchilla.com. URL is going across the bottom of the screen here. That also helps us get seen by other chinchilla owners. Don't forget to check out the new ebook. Go to ebook downloads in the menu bar. Use promo code CHINCARE50, C H I N C A R E 50, at checkout for 50% off for all of the YouTube viewers. Otherwise, guys, we will see you on Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you. Happy holidays. Take care. Mm -hmm.